get to the curve with equation y equals 4 to the x, this exponential function. My exponentials never become negative when they're like this, unless they're like minus 4 to the x, and of course they do. So I can just draw my axes for the positive values of y. They go through the axis, uh, the y-axis at 1, and then actually it's going to be very small for negative values of x, because it'd be like 4 to the minus a half and so on, and then it gets really big. So a little bit like this. And let's label that as 1. Solve 4 to the x equals 100. What we can do is just use our knowledge of logarithms and straight away write down that x is equal to log to base 4 of 100. So that's how logarithms work. It's the base to the power of this, 4 to the x, that equals 100. So we can go straight there. If you prefer, you can take log to base 4 of both sides. So let me, sorry, let me do it here. And you bring the x down, and we just get log to base 4 of 4, which is 1. You get exactly the same thing. You can take log to other bases, but this is the, going to be the quickest route. So log to base 4 of 100, which gives us 3.3219. So to two decimal places, 3.32.